Chase's Cat, rewritten by Lynn Ford. Once upon a time, about a time and a half ago, dog and cat lived together like brothers. And you know that sometimes brothers are nothing alike. Dog liked to eat and run. Cat liked to eat, clean himself, and sleep. Dog liked to bark and play. Cat liked to stretch and sleep. Sometimes dog would chase his cat until cat found a place to hide and sleep. Sometimes cat would chase mice or birds or a piece of string hanging from the sofa. Most of the time, though, cat liked to sleep. Dog thought cat was lazy. Cat thought dog was silly. Brotherhood between the two of them was bound to end. One day, dog brought home a big chunk of meaty ribs that the farmer had given to him. He said, Brother dog, brother cat, I brought home this supper. Since I got it for us, you should cook it for us. Cat yawned and stretched and said, But brother dog, I'm just <coughs> too sick to cook. My back aches, my ears itch, and my teeth feel funny. Maybe you can cook the meat for us this time, and I'll do it next time. Cat climbed up, back on the sofa, and lay down. Dog felt sorry for Cat, and he had called him brother, so Dog got the barbecue grill going and cooked up those ribs. Well, Cat might have been <coughs> sick, but not too sick to eat. When the ribs were ready, Cat greedily snatched away the piece of the meat and ran off to eat alone. He didn't come back to the house until the dishes were done and put away. Dog said, Brother Cat, I brought home the dinner. I did the food finding and the cooking and the cleaning up after it. Tomorrow you bring home some kind of supper. You do the cooking and you do the cleaning. Cat licked his paws, cleaned his ears, and snuggled up on the sofa and went to sleep. The next morning, Dog couldn't find Cat anywhere. He barked and barked. Cat, it's your turn to rustle up some supper. Cat? Cat was away all day, so Dog went hunting. He brought home a squirrel for supper. So he brought home a squirrel for supper. When he walked in the door, there was Cat asleep on the sofa again. He dropped the squirrel and shouted, Cat, since I did the hunting, you get up and get our supper ready. Cat yawned and stretched and said, Oh, brother dog, didn't you notice I was away all day? Why, I had to find some wild grass and mint to make my poor stomach feel better. Please, brother dog, you cook the supper this time and I'll do it next time. Dog had a big heart, and Cat had called him brother again, so Dog cleaned and skimmed and boiled up that squirrel in a pot with onions and potatoes, and oh, it smelled wonderful. Dog didn't even have to call Cat to the table. Snatch! Dog greedily, Cat greedily snatched away a piece of meat, a piece of the squirrel, and ran off. Didn't come back to the house until the pot was clean and washed, and the kitchen was clean too. Dog growled. Cat! You don't treat me like a brother. Tomorrow, no matter how you feel, you bring home some kind of supper, you do the cooking, and you do the cleaning. Cat twitched his tail a little, pawed at the sofa cushions until they were nice and soft, and went to sleep. The next day, Dog got up earlier than the sun. He sneaked out of his little bed, down to the sofa, just in time to see Cat trying to sneak out the door. He jumped in front of the sofa. He jumped in front of the door and said, Cat, if you go anywhere, you better come back with supper. Well, that's just what I was about to do, Cat purred. I, even though I feel terrible, I intend to bring home something for supper, Brother Dog. Cat, Dog stepped away from the door and let Cat go through, but he thought about the way things had been going between the two of them recently. Cautiously, he asked, Brother Cat, what do you think you'll be bringing home for supper? Cat grinned and said, My appetite, and took off running. Well, Dog ran right after him. They ran, chased him around the fence and around the house and around the yard and around the farm and straight into the forest. And well, Dog has been chasing Cat ever since. The end. Thank you.